A shooting during Sunday services at a Sikh temple in the US leaves seven people dead. Four people were shot inside the building in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, and three outside, including the gunman who was killed by a police officer. At least three other people are critically wounded. The niece of one of the wounded men said an unknown number of gunmen had walked into the kitchen of the Sikh temple and opened fire. A man who said his father had been wounded reported that there had been multiple gunmen. Others who were inside the building at the time of the attack described it as a very coordinated thing. It was a, co a coordinated attack. The White House has said that President Barack Obama has been informed of the shooting and has been kept regularly updated on the situation. Fuck this. I tried to upload a video about the Sikh shooting and I got a copyright strike on my account. So, whatever. I deleted it and they took the strike off. So I'm just gonna do it this way. I need to like, um, I need to step back a little bit and just watch for a while. I'm gonna be watching your guys' videos and stuff like that. I just don't, I don't know. But all I want to say about this is Oak Creek, Wisconsin is a small town of 35,000 people. Aurora, Colorado is a city of over 330,000 people. Today's incident in Oak Creek had live streams up and running within minutes of everything breaking out. You had aerial shots of all the agencies being there. You had a sergeant police dude sounding like he's reading a script. I do not have any additional information to share with you. Uh, multiple rounds were exchanged. The officer was shot multiple times and being treated for multiple gunshot wounds. He is in surgery. His condition is not known at this time. He was saying stuff like this. There was concern about multiple gunmen based on information heard over the scanners. I will tell you that at this time we have not identified any additional gunmen. And this. So it's possible that those multiple reports were of the same person. And this. We have not identified additional shooters in the temple or on the scene. At this point, we're not sure if there was additional shooters. And this. That will be part of this ongoing process of tactical follow-up, ensuring that everyone is accounted for, ensuring that the scene is secure, and accounting for all the victims and witnesses. I cannot take any questions at this time because that's all the information I have right now. And these shootings are serving certain agendas for certain people and some of the witnesses do appear to be complete actors. One more thing I want to show you is we all saw the crocodile tears from the Colorado witnesses, right? And this is going to break your heart. This is a Wisconsin witness and this is what real emotion looks like during a time like this. Knowing that my whole family was there at one point in time. This is scariest feeling of the world. Scariest feeling of the world. Not just some relative, but your whole family. I could have been without my whole family. Not one relative, not mom, not dad, and I'm just blessed. This is no feeling. Yeah, and the best. It's just when I saw my mom and her. Hey, um, no Tom. feeling. I don't know who did this or why they did it, what you get from it. <laughs> but no, we're fucking with so many families today. It messed up so many people's lives. Breaking news off of ABC.com. A mass shooting has occurred at Sikh Temple in Oak Creek, Wisconsin, and that's spelt S as in Sam. I K H S I K H. So a mass shooting at Sikh Temple in Oak Creek, Wisconsin this morning. At least four people have been reported injured in the mass shooting. No suspect has been identified. According to the information over the police radio, a witness to the shooting told law enforcement the shooter was a white male, bald, with a heavy build. He was wearing a sleeveless t-shirt. He was last seen with two handguns. So you guys might want to figure out which county Oak Creek is in. Go to radioreference.com and listen to the live police scanner audio if you want the latest on this. And I'm not forgetting about the Colorado shooting. I have one more video to put out about that at least, and that is gonna be done later today. So hang in there, tell the people you love that you love them, make sure that they know that. 
and stay safe. And my people die from lack of knowledge. So y'all better get this knowledge, man. D. I'm a Jew, he a Jew, she a Jew. We some Jews, wouldn't you like to be a Jew too? Only if you're in the bloodline. Hey, it's Paul Joseph Watson with Infowars.com and more breaking news on these Sikh temple shootings in Oak Creek, Wisconsin. Of course, you remember the Colorado Batman shootings. Uh, multiple eyewitnesses reported two shooters and there were reports of gas canisters being thrown from two different sides of the theater. Then, of course, the original police report said that they were looking for two or more shooters. Well, it's happened again. An eyewitness to the Sikh temple shootings says that a four-man team dressed in black carried out the massacre. Um, and this is a clip on YouTube that I've just seen here. So we're going to play this clip. Listen very carefully to what this eyewitness says about the shooting. We have our temple service every Sunday. Um, starts around 10, 10.30. And usually goes in the afternoon. And around 10... Between 10 and 10 30, four uh, white males who were dressed darkly, uh, dressed in all black clothing, came in and opened fire on, the, uh, on our congregation. So he said between 10 and 10 30, four males dressed in black who were dressed in black. Notice the words he uses, he didn't say was dressed in black like it was one guy. He said between 10 and 10 30, four males dressed in black came in and carried out the shooting. Now, of course, the police are saying that it was one guy that he was shot dead. But already, hours after the incident, we have eyewitnesses once again contradicting the official narrative that's all being shaped around uh, the notion that this guy was a, uh, again, a lone gunman, angry white man in his 30s who committed a hate crime. So they're already gearing up to blame it on you know, conservative, libertarian, angry white guys, racist, hate criminals, and yet the eyewitnesses to the actual shooting say that it was carried out by a four-man team. Let's play the clip. Listen again. Listen very carefully. We have our temple service every Sunday. Um, starts around 10, 10.30, and usually goes in the afternoon, and around 10, between 10 and 10.30, four uh, white males who were dressed darkly, uh, so four white males dressed in black. Let's hear it one more time. We have our temple service every Sunday. Um, starts around 10, 10.30 and usually goes in the afternoon and around 10, between 10 and 10.30 for uh, white males who are dressed darkly, uh, dressed in all black clothing. Four white males who were all dressed in black clothing. So he said males, plural. So there's no doubting whether it's some grammatical slip up. He said four white males, plural. And the official narrative says so one guy, one guy. So again, the eyewitnesses are contradicting the official narrative and saying that not just two shooters in this case, but four shooters, a four-man team dressed in black, carrying out this massacre. Uh, so again, as I said in the previous video, the political grist that they're gearing up to exploit from this is already evident, and we'll have more updates as they come in at Infowars.com. Stay tuned. Alex Jones here on this fifth day of August 2012, Sunday, with huge... Breaking news. The establishment is getting so incredibly reckless now. First off, remember the federal government, criminal elements of it, got caught shipping tens of thousands of guns and hand grenades to Mexico to try to demonize and shut down and ban semi-autos. They've now introduced bills to do it. Even though they got caught, they don't care. So, as Larry Pratt said on my syndicated radio show two weeks ago, if they'd staged fast and furious, they could have staged the Batman shooting, and now we've got all the witnesses of multiple shooters there, and the military psychologist over him, and the guy can't talk in court, the UN gun treaty, on and on and on. 
we have in this article by Paul Watson on the new Sikh shooting and our prayers go out to those that died and were injured and their loved ones. We have eyewitnesses. We have an eyewitness who said, I saw four men in black uniforms, that's just like Columbine, shooting people. And we have a separate source talking to his family that was there saying the exact same thing, corroborating that. Two videos here. Okay, and you don't go from one to four because now one of the guys has recanted magically. Oh, and I mean, I can see getting two to one wrong, but four to one, amazing. But the other witness, sorry, saw the same thing and a family. Now we'll see if the cops lock them down and keep them from talking. We have links here to articles that we put out over the last year and a half predicting this. And why? Because four different White House advisors wrote articles and fundraised saying, don't worry if we're behind in the polls. A new Oklahoma City or 9-11 or mass shooting will happen, and that will be blamed on our enemies. Now, they didn't say they'd stage it. They came one millimeter, one millimeter from doing that. This is amazing. Are there real shootings? Could it be real? Yeah, but all the evidence keeps pointing. Now, see how the media is hyping this. Every day I see articles in local news where a lady's jewelry shop gets robbed and she drives off five guys with guns or somebody comes in to rob a uh, internet cafe in Florida and a 71-year-old guy with a 25 shoots him and stops him. 20 plus times on average, people stop crime, frustrate crime, for every case that a gun is using a crime. But all of that is a side issue. The media is not covering the fact that a bunch of the witnesses are saying four shooters. This is amazing. So again, they've done this before. They could be doing it now. They've got the most draconian legislation ever in the Congress, and it's racing through. We're talking about total ban of, quote, assault weapons. That's anything semi-auto. Banning anything with over 10 round mags or anything that can take mags. Banning online sales of ammo, registering ammo. I mean, it's, it's incredible. And they're really doing it, ladies and gentlemen. So they've got all the gun bills introduced, all the telltale signs of witnesses saying multiple shooters. Now they'll have some drugged up patsy that comes out. Now, this could be purely staged. They'll have some mentally ill patsy they blame. That's number one. And it's pointing towards that. Or it could be provocateur white supremacist type group, if I had to profile this, who's led by FBI or CIA. We've seen hundreds of cases of that. Even mainstream news admits the FBI creates its own terror groups. And they're pushing hate crime and domestic terror and, oh, my God, we need troops on the street and we need TSA checkpoints. Well, we need it all because we're under such attack. Or it could be provocateur. Most Muslims don't wear turbans. The Sikhs, who are not Muslims, in fact, fight with the Muslims in India mainly, uh, get attacked all the time. People go in stores and shoot them thinking they're Bin Laden. There's a lot of people brainwashed by this clash of civilization stuff to hate all Muslims and hate people that look like uh, Muslims because they're wearing traditional dress. It could be that. And I said that when I first saw this today. But then the telltale signs came in. And the timing with all the legislation and the UN treaty that, by the way, is not dead. Uh, this is just amazing. The good news is the American people are waking up. But I'm begging you to go to Infowars.com and get this article because it's got all the links and the video to the eyewitnesses. And it's got the links to all the advisors saying mass shootings are the way for Obama to get reelected or bombings to be blamed on their enemies. That's how dumb they think you are as they hide this stuff in plain view because there is a war on for your mind. That's our slogan at Infowars.com. We had this article out where they're saying returning vets will bomb the police nationwide soon and they've got to have TSA and Army on the streets to stop the IEDs that are going to bomb everybody even though there's never been a case of it. I mean, just totally and insanely made up. The one case in Times Square that got foiled was run by the Pentagon. That came out just like the underwear bomber was got on the plane by the U.S. government. That was admitted. And Al-Qaeda is publicly being shipped into Libya and Syria to take down those governments. And that's now all admitted six months after we told you about that in Syria and a year and a half after we told you about that in Libya. So... This is the takeover of society. We'll be covering it tomorrow on the radio. I'll be on there with Mike Adams as well. Um, 11 a.m. Central, that's 12 noon Eastern, Infowars.com or XM 166 or AM and FM's in your area. Even if this was real, the answer to crazy people is guns to protect ourselves. And mass shootings since 1992 in the last 20 years are up 0.1%. It's one of the rarest forms of death out there. Okay? 
Look up the statistics. We've linked the Justice Department's own statistics, but the media is hyping it like it's the end of the world. Another telltale sign. You know, Rahm Emanuel at the White House said, don't let a good crisis go to waste. Get this video and these articles out to everyone. And follow us at Twitter at RealAlexJones. We're going to have this linked as well. I'm working here on Sunday night defending the Republic 24-7. Thank you all for your support. We couldn't do it without you. So Fast and Furious had Obama on the verge of getting impeached by Congress, and the Attorney General had been held in contempt. They'd staged a false terror attack on Mexico and the U.S., shipping up to 20,000 guns and hand grenades to Mexico to create havoc and blame legal U.S. gun shops. Ladies and gentlemen, we've seen the clearly staged Batman shooting a few weeks ago ahead of all this gun legislation right on time. We've seen the new Sikh shooting in Wisconsin and all the conflicting reports. I must automatically look at these as staged events because our government and other governments have been caught hundreds of times doing it. They don't care about us. A collection of really hardcore, vicious criminals have gotten in control. It's that simple. And if you just search the term false flag, you'll get CIA.gov, Wikipedia, you name it, with links to admitted mainstream news breaking down hundreds of false flag staged terror attacks. So the point is they do it. They did it with Fast and Furious, <clears throat> including mass shootings that are in Operation Northwoods and how to blame drugged up patsies, you know, guys like the Joker killer who can't talk in court every time. He's so drugged up. Oh, history of human experimentation. Thousands of U.S. troops killed in chemical, biological, radiological tests. They tell them, we're going to test the flu on you and nerve gas them. Project Shad and stuff like that. Sydney Morning Herald. Bioweapons on troops, uh, just you know, documentaries, U.S. towns sprayed. I mean, look it up. Oh, but they wouldn't. They wouldn't stage a false flag, though, to get our guns right when all the legislation's introduced in the U.N. Treaty that's still in dead. No, no, we shouldn't look at that. Uh, just a week ago or so, on July 25th, so a little over a week, about eight, nine days ago, Mike Adams said, hey, they're clearly gearing up for this. If everybody starts carrying a gun or at least a large percentage, these guys will get taken out. And that's happened in a lot of attempted mass shootings. Big one a few years ago in Colorado. Somebody had a gun and stopped them, and they only killed one person. So important article by Mike Adams, another false flag appears imminent. Here's how to protect yourself and your family. Excellent article, naturalnews.com. Continuing here, ladies and gentlemen, um, you can type in foster children killed in secret test or foster children tested on. I'm talking about pesticides till they die. And you'll get PBS, you'll get Infowars.com as well. But uh, there, that all is, just thousands of them. Oh, look right here. Remember all those tens of thousands of missiles, including some of them heat-seeking and radar-guided, that Al-Qaeda, who took over Libya, was given, including chemical weapons? Even mainline Israeli news, Debka file, is reporting, and they've got sources inside Mossad, that the chemical weapons are being used by Al-Qaeda to be blamed on the Assad regime. Absolutely. That's why they keep hyping up that they've got chemical weapons. They're shipping Al-Qaeda to bring that country down. That's a big false flag. Oh, they'd kill a million Iraqis for the oil and for power, but the globalists running things, they wouldn't hurt us. No, 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 no. It doesn't matter if eyewitnesses, multiple eyewitnesses now, saw four shooters and people's families saw them. They're trying to make them change their stories right now. It's all there. So that's why we must look at this as a false flag. The timing, all of it. Please get this video out to everybody. You would be a naive moron not to understand that they've been hyping that mass shootings are coming and that they want TSA on the streets and regular military. And now that is magically starting to happen. Had an article about that today before all of this even came out, before the shooting even took place. Look into it. Find out it's a program. When you're awake and paying attention, it's like a slow motion movie. It's so obvious. Okay? But if you're not paying attention, it's like in hyperspeed. Alex Jones signing off for InfoWars.com and PrisonPlanet.tv because there's a war on for your mind. We have serious authoritarians taking over. All of us are in danger. I'm risking my life to do this. Please get this video out to everyone. It's the only way to stop them staging more false flags. You've got to expose self-inflicted wounds, false flag staged events, or the globalists and other crime syndicates will continue to use it, just like Operation Gladio. It's partially declassified. Hundreds of staged terror attacks, including mass shootings all over Europe, to be blamed on political enemies during the 70s and 80s. 
look into it. Alex Jones signing off again for InfoWars.com. This information to spread so quickly. It also does pose a, a certain difficulty, particularly for first responders. You mentioned mm -hmm. that we're hearing so many different stories. Well, the first responders, you can only imagine, we're also hearing from people on the scene who are in different parts, perhaps, of the facility, who some may have fled the facility. We don't know, but initially there were reports, of, perhaps, of multiple, multiple gunmen. They, they may have all been describing the same individual, but from right. different places, different, uh, a, a different recollection from the various witnesses. So police, first responders have to try to sort through all of that rapid information as it's coming to them. And, and sometimes think, that's difficult to think do. Think about it now. Oak Creek, Wisconsin is the focus. It's, it's going to be the lead story of every news. I, I, it's going to be the lead story on the news it's throughout the, the world story, absolutely. tonight. Uh, and, and it's going to be, you know, described as a suburb of Milwaukee where, you know, this, this horrendous... What are we? This your boy, O to the D. AKA Knowledge, General of the Jews. You know, I'm doing this video to talk about uh to talk about this latest mass shooting that just happened. Now this allegedly just happened today and there's different there's different eyewitness statements but uh that's they're saying that there was more than one gunman, but the media is just panning it out like it was one white dude with a bald head that went in there and shot shot these people now I don't know how many people really are dead or I mean they're really injured because it just happened and there's not a lot of excuse me there's not a lot of news out about it right now but you know I'm gonna keep you well informed that's what I do you know this is part one to the latest massacre shooting I'm gonna bring you more as soon as it comes out but for right now it's conflicting you know with speculations on it and eyewitnesses on it like it was with the uh with the Batman shooting, like, you know, like with the Batman shooting, people saying there was more than one person, but the media saying there was one person and they got him. But people that was there were saying there was more than one person. So with this little temple shooting, which you got the information at the beginning of this video, is they're saying the same thing. So, you know, I gave you all the news that I could find on YouTube about it right now. But uh, you can research and do your own, re you can look up your own, you can look it up on your own and do your own research, you know, if you want to. Or you can just not listen to what I'm saying and say it don't matter. But I mean, it's mighty strange that we got these two massacres that happen in public and they really don't, these things really don't happen like every day, you know. But why they all of a sudden happen when they're trying to pass this gun law? You know, why all of a sudden you got these crazy people shooting up everybody in, in public places all of a sudden? You know, it's not a coincidence at all. You know, and how does this story sound just like the uh, the uh, movie theater story? You know, they're saying that they, I heard there was four four white men that came in there. Then I heard it was two, and then I heard it was one. So, you know, it's like you got different stories just like with the other one. So it's like, how can you have two events that happen and be surrounded in the same conspiracy thoughts as the other one, and they're not connected like that, you know? pretty strange right if the same person didn't do it or the same organization didn't do it why is it so much similar but uh you know trying to make a little hate crime crack off and uh like i said man look this up yourself it just happened another massive shooting they're trying to come up with a reason also to bring tsa out and put them in malls put them in anywhere public so that everybody won't get shot up go figure that this would happen during the same time that people was getting shot up, you know, that, that, that people would start getting shot up during the time when they got all the laws set in play to take your freedom. You know, it's like they just they just keep setting stuff off and making stuff happen, and eventually one of them gonna catch into taking your freedom, man. Y'all need to listen, man. I know a lot of people look, a lot of people don't even like me because I bring knowledge on YouTube. You know, they don't like me. They think I need to get a job, get a life, do this, do that, you know. Anything you can say to down a black Hebrew. But it's all right. Because it's only so far you can damn me, man. Well, my father rises me up regardless of what you do. So you can hate on me till the cows come home. But as long as I stay religious and I stay a part of this world spiritually, then I'm not worried about y'all, man. Because, see, y'all can only hate on me for so long until we dead and gone. 
then I'm with my father and you can't hate on me no more. You can't. You know, and then you got to understand what it's saying in the Bible. He wants you to serve him in spirit and in truth. Truth. Okay, he didn't say follow him in ignorance or stupidity. He didn't say follow him in I don't want to know no more about what I'm worshiping. He wants you to follow him in truth. And look at Christianity, man. It's been corrupted. It's not the truth anymore. I hate to get on that all the time, but look it up, man. It was combined with paganism. And you ain't got to believe me, but that's what the Romans did to it. So keep following it if you want to, man. You'll realize they don't follow the Bible. They follow tradition. It's not the Bible. Tradition is whatever the Roman people made up. So another massive shooting, Wisconsin, Milwaukee. It's going down, man. It's really happening right now. They're trying to amp this up, you know, so they can have shoot to the point where you're going to have to have TSA everywhere. But don't take my word for it. This is your boy, O to the D, a.k.a. Knowledge. I'm out, man. Crazy crew entertainment, man. Crew of die videos, and ain't nothing after that. You dig, you beezies.